am Dr. Vinod Kumar Kartil from Government Medical College, Jammu, working as assistant professor in the Department of Medicine. Now, today's session is about latest update in hypertension. As per WHO, nearly 63% of total deaths in India are due to non-communicable diseases, of which 27% are attributed to CBD which affects 45% people in the age of 40 to 69 age group. Raised blood pressure is among the most important risk factors for cardiovascular diseases. Moreover, it remains poorly controlled due to low awareness about hypertension, lack of appropriate care through primary care and poor follow-up. In India, the prevalence has also gone up over 30 years to 38% in men and 32% in women from 29% and 28% respectively. As per the WHO, despite that, nearly half of the people or 51% of the men and 41% of the women with hypertension were unaware of the condition. Additionally, over 62% of the men and more than 53% of the women living with hypertension did not get treatment. Medication was used to control blood pressure in fewer than one in five in men and one in four in women with hypertension worldwide. As per WHO Lancet 2021, International Society of Hypertension has released the ISH 2020 Global Hypertension practice guidelines. The inclusion of optimal and essential treatment paradigms attempts to address the issue that in resource poor setting, optimal care refers to evidence-based standard of care and whereas essential standards refer to minimum standards of care to allow specification of essential standards of care for low resource settings. The AHA and ACC has released a scientific statement in 2021 offering new guidance for management of stage 1 hypertension among patients with low atherosclerotic cardiovascular risk among low risk adults with no ASCBD or 10 year CBD risk is less than 10% with stage 1 hypertension. So blood pressure target should be among 130 to 139 systolic upon 80 to 89 millimeter of mercury diastolic. Management starts with non-pharmacological therapy. If blood pressure remains uncontrolled at three to six months, consider starting pharmacological therapy as per Jones DW et al. Hypertension Guidelines 2021. Acute respiratory distress syndrome, which is a potentially <clears throat> fatal condition involving lung damage, and experts often associate it with severe COVID 19 disease. A recent study, which appears in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, reports that metoprolol can reduce lung inflammation and improve respiratory function in people with COVID 19 induced ARDS as per JAM Coronal Cardiology 2021. Lowering systolic blood pressure targets down to 110 millimeter of mercury to less than 130 millimeter of mercury range substantially reduce CB adverse events in the STEP randomized trial. Affirming the sprint finding for an older Chinese population. Among some 8,500 patients, ages between 60 to 80 in China, the intensive target trimmed 26% of the composite CB risk findings from no a second major trial, putting a lower target could unite the guidelines, which even among US professional societies range from thresholds of 130 to 150 millimeter of mercury as per the Young W. et al. New England Journal of Medicine 2021. With regard to prognostic value of 
ambulatory blood pressure monitoring and nighttime blood pressure 2018 european guidelines on the management of arterial hypertension recommend that the diagnosis of hypertension should not only be depended on office bp measurements but also on out of office measurements such as ambulatory blood pressure monitoring or home blood pressure monitoring a 24 hour in night time bp measurements but associated with greater risk of mortality and a composite of cardiovascular outcome thus they may be considered as the most relevant measurements for estimating cb risk for every 20 to 10 mm of mercury increment of blood pressure measured at night the risk of mortality increased by 23% and the risk of cardiovascular events by 36% most patients with hypertension require lifelong medical therapy to achieve optimal blood pressure control the 2018 european guidelines equally recommend five classes of anti hypertensive drugs considering high non adherence treatment the importance of combination treatment is particularly highlighted to improve adherence to therapy and blood pressure control therefore the 2018 european guidelines recommend especially in the context of lower blood pressure targets to start anti hypertensive therapy with an initial dual fixed dose combination of ac inhibitor or arb plus ccv or diuretic since early july 2018 products containing valsartan has been recalled worldwide the reason is the detection of a known carcinogen namely n nitroso dimethyl amamine which can be found in candy sartan rb sartan losartan olmisartan and valsartan ndma has been classified by the who international agency for research on cancer to be carcinogenic in humans if 1 lakh patients would have received ndm contaminated valsartan from jejiang huai manufacturing the site where the highest levels of contaminants were found every day for 6 years in the highest dose it could result in 22 additional liver cancers over the lifetime of these patients the presence of ndma in these drugs could lead to eight additional cancer cases in 1 lakh patients if they had taken the highest daily dose over 4 years valsartan recall accompanied by a significant increase in the rate of emergency department visits of 6% the highest study represents the largest study that tested night time anti hypertensive treatment in this trial chronotherapy was associated with a significant reduction in end points including deaths the high gear chronotherapy trial tested whether night time therapy in comparison to usual upon awakening hypertension therapy exerts a favorable cb risk reduction the largest study in included a total of 19084 hypertensive patients during an average follow up of 6.3 years 1752 participants experienced the primary cardiovascular outcome an ambulatory blood pressure measurement was performed for 48 hours to collect data on how bp differed during sleep the rr reduction for cb events was significantly improved for night time treatment when compared with awakening treatment thank you